does that even mean, Bowers Game Corner? Oh, hi there, YouTube. I'm back again today for another game review. And today, I will be reviewing the Very Hungry Caterpillar card game from University Games. This is for ages three and up, and it is for two to four players. And as you could probably guess, this is about the immensely popular Eric Carl book, The Very Hungry Caterpillar, and about his binge eating antics. Looking at the box itself, uh, it is a tin box, which I can really enjoy for children's games, because uh, if you don't have a tin box with children's games, they tend to get really shredded up, especially if it's for ages three and up, so it is for very young children. But on the front, we have uh, some of his famous artwork for the Very Hungry Caterpillar and some little dots down there. On the back, we have a brief description of how the game is going to be played and uh, all that jazz and some more artwork. Not a bad little box. It's probably about eight to nine inches wide, about another three to four inches that way, and about an inch or two deep. So it's a very small, durable little tin container. Is the game good or not? Let's open it up and find out. Alright, so let's take a look at what we're going to get inside of the game. First and foremost, we get our handy dandy little card, which will have our rules and instructions on it. I like the fact they did this instead of a, a separate little piece of paper that's going to get ripped or torn or thrown away on an accident. They just kept it in with the cards. It's a great idea, I personally think. And the instructions are, uh, they're, they're two, they're double-sided, uh, one card. It's a very simple game. You probably use this once or twice when you're first setting up the game and not use it after that. You're also going to get a couple different kinds of cards with the game. You're going to get one advertisement card advertising other University Eric Carl games. Uh, you're going to get your Caterpillar cards. These will symbolize, these are just your player cards, so you can play four players, so there's four different ones. For the mock hand, we'll just have two different players playing the game, so we'll need two Caterpillars in front of each person. You're going to have these Butterfly cards, which are what you're going to need to finish and win the game. These will be randomly distributed out throughout the deck. And in your deck, you're going to get your Food cards, which will have uh, different days of the week, from Monday through Sunday, and they'll have different things that you would find in the book. So on day one, he ate an apple, on day four, on Thursday, he ate four strawberries, and there's a little bit of a counting element there too, which is nice, but it's all nice, colorful artwork from the book, and on Saturday, as we know from the story, he decided to binge eat, and ate a whole bunch, there's cakes and candies and all that sort of thing, and uh, you also get this little, uh, this little stand with a caterpillar on there. Let's go over a quick mock run of the game, one versus one, so you can see exactly how the game works. You're going to set out your little caterpillar right there, and you got your two players here. They're each going to get five cards. So you're going to get your five cards, you get them face down, and then you're going to have a discard pile right here. So you're going to set up your first card, and it is Monday. So whoever goes first is going to look through their cards, and they're going to try and play day two, which would be Tuesday. If you have Tuesday, then you're going to lay Tuesday down. Now this guy has a Tuesday, so he would lay Tuesday and two pairs, and it's now the next player's turn. So as you can probably guess, he needs to play Wednesday, or day three, so he looks through his cards. But there's a pro oh, he does, he has three plums on Wednesday, so he'll lay down that. And now it's the other player's turn, so he's going to lay down Thursday. But he does not have Thursday, so he has two options now. He can either draw another card and play it, if it is Thursday, which it's not, or he can play a wild card. And the wild card is on Sunday, and it says wild card, play any food only. So you play this card, and then you can play any one of your cards. So that is a very nice card to have, well, not only because you, you can play any card you want, but you can also get to play two cards. So you say, all right, I'm going to play my wild card, and we're back to Saturday now. And now you're down to two cards, and you're a little bit closer to winning the game. Now, Saturday has a little bit different rules. On Saturday, he eats a numerous different things. So if you had Saturday, you don't, you could play another Saturday because he eats more than one thing. So on Saturday, he ate one slice of cheese. Well, what else did he eat? He also ate one piece of cake. And then if you had this card, you'd say, well, he also ate one ice cream cone. And you could keep playing on top of each other as long as you're not playing back-to-back -back things. So, for instance, the next person could play another piece of cake, but he could not play another ice cream cone. When you're finally ready to move on, you'd play another Sunday, and then someone else could move and play, oh, well, now I've got Monday. But this person does not win the game yet, because in order to win the game, the only way to win the game, and this keeps the game going, you have to lay 
one of these butterflies. So once you get one of these in your hand, it's very valuable. You're going to save it until the very end. So let's just say, pretend that this guy's now on Monday. He just laid the Monday. This guy's going to look through his hand. He doesn't have that. He'll play, all right, I got Sunday. So I'm going to make it Sunday. And now we're going to make it Thursday. So he's down to one card. He thinks he's going to win. But bottom line is, in order to win the game, you lay down your butterfly. It's a very simple little game. Um, the, the one thing I did forget to mention, if you have two butterflies in your hand, you're just supposed to put one back in the deck and draw another card for it. it, it it's, like I said, it's incredibly easy to learn, incredibly easy to play, and that is exactly how you play the Very Hungry Caterpillar card game. Alright, the Very Hungry Caterpillar card game from University Games, what are my final thoughts? Let's go over the pros, let's go over the cons. On the con side, this is an incredibly simple game. It is for ages three and up, as I mentioned. So it is for the children that you're trying to teach the days of the week, which is not a bad thing, but this is never a game you're going to bust out with your buddies on game night. But that's actually what it's designed for. That's not a huge con. Also on the con side, uh, I didn't really know why they included the little extra caterpillar. It's just an extra piece there, I guess, to add to the ambience of Eric Carle's book. Uh, other than that, I really don't have too many problems with the game. It is a children's game, and it's a, it's a decent children's game. The whole point of the game is to help children learn the days of the week, and I'd say it's a very serviceable game to do that. If you introduce this to a child and they don't know their days of the week that well, or they know minimal things about their days of the week, this will definitely help them if you play this on a regular basis, maybe once or twice a week. And, and the children will have fun if you're playing with them. I play this in my classroom, and the kids, they kind of like the game, but I can tell that they are learning their days of the week from this game, which is the whole point of the game. So overall, I definitely would recommend the Very Hungry Caterpillar card game from University Games if you're trying to teach your children about the days of the weeks. Once they've learned the days of the week, this will probably go back on your shelf, and you can probably just give it back to somebody else who wants to help their children learn. Overall, though, I definitely would recommend this game if you're trying to teach your children that. If you enjoyed this review, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for your time, YouTube. That was the review for the Very Hungry Caterpillar card game. For more reviews, check back at Bowers Game Corner.